Alright, welcome back to some mission in space to Lost Colony. When we last left off, we were stuck on mission 10, or rather we just lost at it once. And it appeared that Faro could not do everything all by himself, which is a disappointment because, you know, that's his job, right? Alright Beckett, I prefer Shrek, but we'll listen to you. Oh, hey Shrek. Yeah, I know what to do. Alright. Let me plan this out right from here. Right from the get-go. So I'm planning to, uh... I want Taylor to hold one of these because she has sprint. So, you know, I'll just get that out of the way. Uh, Blake has... Doesn't really have any advantages. So, I'll put him here. I'll make him hold that. And Pierce will be the one to guide them through. I think this is the same order as last time. Uh, Faro, obviously, the one man army. So, I'll send him to do one man army stuff. The woods there. I don't think the aliens can reach. Let me just check if anybody else can move. I can move one square, so I'll just speed things up a bit. Alright. Alright, so, I could flamethrower these two, or I could shoot them both. Shooting them both will use up four, obviously. <coughs> but either way, this alien will explode and block the way, so... So I'll just stand there. Oh, come on. You know, that's the only drawback this game that I've found so far is that if you click on a trooper to select him while well, you have another trooper selected and sometimes it doesn't get selected instead the trooper moves to where the other trooper is it's pretty annoying uh, I don't think there's too many oh but there's a vent I'll take the risk. Oh, but if it's an exploding alien. Alright, uh... How long does the magnetic bomb last if I put it here and activate it? I won't hold them off for that long. I also want to hold on to the magnetic bomb because it will be really useful later. Mm. Alright. I'll put them on alert. I can't underestimate this game. <laughs> it's fine, he'll walk it off. Alright, I'm pretty sure he can hold his own in this area. 68. Faro can shoot multiple times, so. That wasn't too much of a problem. Although the problem is arising that I'm gonna be running low on ammo. I'm putting him there because he's not directly next to the vent, so he's not in that much danger. Actually, he's directly next to the vent, but he's not on the vent, so... So earlier, before I started recording, I was under the problem of contemplating whether I should record this, or whether I should record, uh, I Divine Cybermancy, and... 2 AP, it doesn't help. And... I decided to record this because, at least for me, I'm not sure if... Actually, if might be for you guys too. There's been a bigger gap between my last uh, my last uh, mission in space video compared to my last uh, I Divine Cybermancy video, which I think came out the day before. I'll move him there and reload. Send. Wait, how far can Taylor go? Taylor can actually go even further than that. 
send Taylor way over there and I'll send Blake to the door yeah Pierce is gonna have to catch up real quick this is actually a terrible situation hopefully they can reach her right now alright They most definitely can reach. This is actually a terrible situation. Okay, I'll put Blake here. Can I shot him with the kid? Alright. Seven, no? One AP left, though. He can take that alien out. He has to take that again. But he cannot advance, so I'll reload. Alright, now for them. Oh, there's an echo in there. Should I make a run for it? You know, I don't think those aliens can actually reach at the moment. Like, if they come all the way. Yeah. See, I can see the distance from here. Faro can easily take care of both of these. So I think Woods has got that next turn, or at least a turn after. So I was saying about the height of my Cybermen. See, it's been a bigger gap between my last uh, Mission to Space video compared to my last Cybermen video. So I decided to record this. Because I, I, I've been having fun both games, honestly. It's kind of difficult for me to decide which one. Is Wood seriously that unfit? He can move three blocks while he's not on alert mode. We're gonna have to keep him in that. Blue alien is in range, but Faro can shoot at it. So that situation is kind of over in a good way. <laughs> Alright, she can reach that. AP to interact with that, so that's not a good situation. Pierce cannot reach, and I don't want to send Blake there. Yeah, Trooper's gonna get hit. Oh, sorry, Taylor is gonna get hit. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Oh, oops. I'm gonna turn the volume down. This seems to be a common problem. With the volume being too high. I mean, my voice is too low, I'm not sure. This is an annoying situation, but Taylor can... I'm not sure. Well, this is like... the outer reaches of this person, of this alien. So I don't think she'll die. But she will get hurt, so... Alright. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I hit you. Get in there and shoot that thing. Right, he will not be hurt, I can tell you that much. He doesn't even need to reload. I use step forward, step forward, put that down. Oh yeah, he's out of AP now. Alright, now he just gotta, oh, he can still move, now he's gotta, gotta move like this, there, and Faro can move on to this, alright, I think I moved everybody, yeah, I think that's actually a really massive disadvantage right now, that uh, Taylor is dead, Here comes the semi creepy music. Oh god. I think that's a bomb worthy situation. The 
depends if you can place the. Oh, come on. Well, it is a bomb worthy situation, but there's nothing I can do about it. He's gonna get hurt, I know that. Yep, Blake is as good as dead. Sorry, Blake, there's nothing I can do. Okay, this is not the best situation, but Blake has 6 AP. You can pick this up and place it down. If uh, Pierce can, oh, Pierce definitely cannot. You get attacked by these guys. Which means that these guys <laughs> have to put the final one up there. Oh wait, no. He doesn't have to put this down, he just has to kill these guys. Alright. This is a terrible situation. At least he didn't get too badly hurt. Blake does not need to be on alert right now. He doesn't need to pick that up yet. So yeah, these guys have to do all their work again. Alright. Could have been worse. Can they reach him? Nah. What was that sound? How far can he move now? Oh, so these blue aliens just prevent me from moving a block. I should have guessed that much, but I didn't. Great. I'm moving to the wrong side. I thought there's a path from here to there. There is, but not where I am. So I can move him and then shoot that thing twice. I think I will. Alright, good. I don't think there's an alien that can reach him right now. Unless they come out of the vent. Which is actually a highly possible situation. When will the music like turn really intense? There you go. It's a lot, it's a lot less intense when... Uh... Oh, forgot the movie there. It's a lot less intense when my volume's lower. Should I move him over to that side? Oh god, that's a bomb worthy situation. That will kill Blake right now. <laughs> move Blake over here. Alright, Blake's gotta kill these things. Alright, now trigger that bomb. That was useful. Thirty-nine health. Better reload. All right. Okay. This might not be believable, but I think I'm in a worse situation than I was last time. I've just got to get to this room. Which seems like miles away right now. Here comes the guitar solo. I honestly think that Pierce should be the one to pick up that thing now. Five magazines. I think both of these guys should pick some up. Alright, there's, there's the ammo. Uh, this thing's gonna... Alright, I have no choice there. Alright, Woods. I 
I don't want Faro to take too much damage. I have to send him all the way around though. Alright. Yep, they're blocking the path again. I'm gonna send Woods to continue on. Alright, Faro being the one man army he is. Can take these guys out. Okay, you can take one of them out. Now he has to stand on alert. Blake can take him out, but and there's another echo over there, which is bad. Oh god. Well, at least uh, Pierce is here, and these aliens stop spawning for now, at least. Now this is an explosive alien, and I do not want Blake to be anywhere near there. At least if Woods... Yeah, Woods has got to help them out when he... Oh, I forgot to put him on alert. And that wasn't too This situation is bad to Woods. Can you aim at that? Is he simply to allow them to get to work. Right? Are you serious? So... Yeah. He's gotta be on alert. Alright, I'm gonna send Faro here so he can take care of that. Take care of that first. Yes, he can. But if they move towards Woods, he will be able to aim at them. So Woods just gotta have enough ammo to fight them off. Alright. So I'd say this is a bomb worthy situation. The aliens were kind enough to let him reload. Great. Okay, so there's something wrong with my mouse. Whenever I click, it double clicks, and that's really not helping in this situation. I kind of want to send, kind of want to send Blake here, so you could. No, but Pierce would die anyways. All right, Woods has got to make his way towards them. So has Faro. Faro's got the back easily. Because we know it's Faro. Uh, can't move him out of there anyway. I wish they could just throw this to him, he could throw it to them. They could just go do it. <laughs> that would have been much easier. I can't aim at any of them, so he's good as dead. So is he. I'm guessing I have to leave them actually. Alright. He apparently can move past this thing without it even moving towards it, or rather, attacking. Oh, I should have shot him first. Oh wait, no, but I didn't have any ammo. I don't think Pierce, I mean, sorry, Faro can shoot at it, so I have to shoot at it. Now, can he place a bomb and then detonate it? It's 2 AP? This is 2 AP, so he can't. So placing him there is suicide for him. Alright, these two can handle these guys. Kinda don't wanna shoot at him because he's blocking him. Alright. Look at 
Faro. Just look at him. If they were all like Faro, then there wouldn't be a problem at all. I kind of want to place a bomb here and detonate it. I think I should place a bomb. Can't place it. Right, so these guys actually have to make their way in first. He's got to drop some ammo for them. Did he? What just happened? Oh, he just straight away gave it, gave it to them and I put it on them. Alright. Alright. I don't think I can play so... Oh, I don't even have enough energy left. It's a good thing that none of... Oh god. I'm going to say it's a good thing that none of those guys are explosive guys. But there is one now. Alright, Pierce has got to move back one. I've got to move Faro here. And I've got to use this. Ah, oh, but I can't kill them. Damn it! I should have shot him first. Then Faro could have moved even more forwards and then hopefully shot these guys. See, this costs 4 AP, so I can actually shoot this guy. And then move Faro into that room. Hopefully he can kill enough of them. That was really useful. I think gonna move towards him. Alright. Yeah, I saw that much coming. But it's alright. <laughs> Almost there. Extremely close this time. I think I might be closer than I was last time, which is astonishing considering how much worse I did. Oh god. And I, I have to move him past that puddle. Alright, Wood, you gotta hold off the back end here. He's gotta hold them off. Uh, if only... Oh wait, Pierce is here. Alright. As Oh, come on. Yeah, he's gonna get bombed. Damn. Nothing can do about it. Can I flamethrower him from here? <laughs> I can flamethrower Pierce. Oh no. Just stay where you are. Stay where you are, nothing else. Alright, he stayed where he was. Oh come on, I have to move him there. He's gonna get hurt. But he's the one man army. Alright. Pierce. It's all or nothing, man. Just make your way there. Don't care about anything else. Place a magnetic bomb here. Alright, next turn you can activate it. Activate it? Yeah. I'm losing all my nerves, man. He can't move. All of them loot him. Hold them off. Hold them off as much as you can. 
where he can't reach, whatever's in there might reach. Placed a magnetic bomb there for this specific reason. Aha, suckers. What? How can you. Alright. I can move him here and then there, right? Come on, give me the option. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me the option. Oh. Alright, gotta move far over here. Shoot that stupid thing. Magnetic bomb has got them stuck where they are. Alright good, they actually are stuck where they are. This mission has been one. Let's see some dogs. Put this up. Yes. 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 Level 12. So there you have it. Episode whatever. I think it's episode 11. So yeah, that was fun, right? That went much better than it did the time before. And... Armor is not a good... I actually got that. So that's... Large ammo magazine might be my next one. <laughs> Instead of his uh, crying around. I will not upgrade woods. With this program might be reviews. But it's not even. It's like a, a poor person sprint. Sprint boat. This cost two, sprint cost two. Oh no. This cost three. Shield program won't really help me, honestly. And the magnetism will not. Because the way it is right now, it's as helpful as it can be to me. Second last mission. I might end this series today. Not in this episode, though. Tune in next time. The music stopped and I stopped. It's pretty cool. Alright, mission 11.